Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Major shifts in consumer habits not only change the way we think about the economy, but lead the direction for where the economy is heading. One of the most obvious examples of this sentiment is seen with the ever-increasing growth of the so-called sharing economy. Companies like Uber, LYFT, and Airbnb have all been crucial in this major disruption. With new consumers entering the market all the time, their tastes and preferences change. Uber and LYFT have been major disruptors for the taxi industry, even resulting in protests by some taxicab groups and an actual ban from a court decision made in Rome, Italy. Uber not only gave consumers additional choices for short-term travel, but they allowed the same user base to also make money from the platform and utilize vehicles they already own to make money with the same service they use all the time. Likewise, Airbnb has been a massive disruptor to the traditional hospitality industry. When consumers are no longer dependent on the traditional sources of goods and services, it's clear that many seek out other alternatives. Like Uber, Airbnb allowed the very same customer base to also double as the providers as well. This is why the sharing economy is growing so rapidly, not only are consumers given more options, they're even able to earn income when they're not consuming. It's a win-win. In fact, this booming industry is still looking at even more growth, and it's not likely to end anytime soon. According to a recent study from the Brookings Institution, the sharing economy is estimated to grow from a $14 billion industry in 2014 to a $335 billion industry by 2025, and they're not the only ones keeping an eye on this industry either. MasterCard Incorporated Ma 0.38% published some literature from their newsroom with projections for the future of the sharing economy as well. According to their estimates, a variety of sectors are looking to see even more growth from the sharing economy.